So, um, things happened. <laughs> I was kind of in the middle of, rec uh, not recording, but editing too. So, yeah, great timing, boys. But anyway, you probably expect me right now to come out and be very pissed because you guys know that I like Jordan Everly. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you don't know, Jordan Everly has just been traded to the New York Islanders for one Ryan Strom. Now, in the past, I've made videos that were, uh... Oh, everyone fucking agreed with me. Fucking everyone. You know what? I don't even care if you agree with me or not. But, uh, I actually, I don't mind this trade. Like, at all. Even though I love Jordan Everly, and I think he's a great player, even though he, he was really bad these playoffs. Even though I think he's a great player, uh, I don't mind this trade at all. Because we need cap space, and this trade gives us that, and an actually younger player. Everly is 26 and Strom is 23. If you look at the stats for last season, you know, Jordan Everly does seem like the better player, but you know what, man? Fuck it. Who, the Oilers got a player and cap space in that deal. Oh, okay. That pass actually got through. Sick. It, it's kind of curious because I saw Everly got traded and I'm like, ooh, I guess, I guess uh, Nugent Hopkins is staying, which, you know, is, is great because I, I, I like Nugent Hopkins, but... Okay, that's that's fine. Just dive at someone's fucking feet. But uh, then I saw it was for Ryan Strom, and I'm like, he, <laughs> he's a center. So what the fuck now? What happens now? That's the interesting part. You know, we knew either Nuge or Ebbs was going, but is it going to be both now? Because Ryan Strom is a center. And, I mean, he's not going to be a fourth-line center. That's... I don't think... No. There's no fucking way. It's either they, they put... They keep Dreisaitl at the wing... And Nuge is the second round, uh, second line center. That was a dumb pass, by the way. Oh, yeah, if you're about to comment on the gameplay, uh, feel free to do so, and I will be free to ignore the shit out of it, because this is a video about talking about the fucking trade. I'm not concentrating, you fucking clowns! Yeah, Strom is not gonna be your fucking fourth line center, so it's either they are going to trade Nugent Hopkins, which I... I like Nuge, but if it gives us cap space and the return is okay on top of that, then I guess I'm okay with it. But, uh, I don't want to get rid of both Eberly and Nugent Hopkins, even though it might be necessary. So, curious situation, man. I think there probably, there likely is another trade coming for the Oilers. And, I mean, shit, why, watch me record this video and there's going to be a trade as I'm fucking editing or recording it. And then I upload it and my fucking video is going to be obsolete already. Oh, cleft bomb. Okay. Oh, Ebbs, nah, nah, bro, nah. And you know what, man? Ebbs is in the Eastern Conference, so I hope the absolute best for this guy. I hope he scores 35 fucking goals, man, honestly. It might not happen right away because they're going to need to develop some chemistry, but when Tavares and Everly have chemistry, man, this could be this could be a dynamic duo right there. Let's just go with Connor, though. Let's just go with Connor. There you go. Boom, back at the point. Slap shot and fucking stopped. All right. But if there's one thing, I know I'm jumping all over the place as far as like topics go, but I'm just giving y'all my live reactions like instantly. I just learned about the trade like fucking five minutes ago, bro. So these are live reactions. If I'm forgetting something, it's not because I don't know it, you fucking goons. It's because these are just live reactions and mostly emotional reactions, even though I'm not screaming and yelling like I did on the <coughs> other trades. <coughs> Taylor opens up cap space. Wait a minute. Wait a fucking minute. Last uh, last night there was the expansion draft, right? And the Vegas Golden Knights decided on uh, one Griffin Reinhardt to pick from the Edmonton Oilers. All those sons of bitches. They could have picked Benoit Pouliot, but they didn't. I understand because Pouliot loses like 70 IQ every time he enters the offensive zone so that might have forced the Oilers to make this move for cap space because if they pick Pouliot if they pick Pouliot oh go slap shop oh if they pick Pouliot then that's over four million dollars of cap space that the Oilers would have got so this is all this is all Vegas's fault I can't cheer for the Golden Knights I will never buy any of your merch this is bullshit I love Jordan Everly and it's all your fault that he's gone Oh, damn it. Fuck! <sighs> let's let's keep our composure here. I okay. Like I said, I like the trade. Opens up cap space. Hey, I gotta go. Fucking fantastic. Now we just need to find a way to get rid of Benoit Pouliot. 
and maybe Nugent Hopkins, even though I don't want him to go, but you might have to because Strom is a center. We've been over this already on this video, but uh, maybe more moves coming. Please get rid of Pouliot, man. Please. You know what, though? If, if there's something I'm happy for is that Jordan Eberle, after all of the years of effort and sacrifice that he spent, in Edmonton, you know, going through all of the just garbage years with terrible management that didn't know what they were doing, with terrible coaching that didn't know what they were doing. Oh, okay. With just depleted ass rosters and just all the bullshit that he's went through and never fucking complained. This guy, I'm so happy that we traded him after we made the playoffs and that he got the chance to experience what it's like to make the playoffs in Edmonton because the fans in Edmonton okay even though even if I'm an Oilers fan you know so I'm trying to remain unbiased here but this has been confirmed by people that are not Oilers fans so suck a dick if you don't agree um Edmonton is one of the loudest buildings in the league when you get to playoff time and I am so glad that if we were going to trade him, we waited until he at least got to experience that, you know, instead of trading him at the deadline last year. Good on the Oilers for doing that. Maybe, maybe, you know, his, uh, his playoff run wasn't the best and wasn't what he had hoped for, but I'm so glad that he got to, oh, come on. So glad that he got to experience what it's like to be in front of that fucking crowd because that crowd is special and... That's something you can never take away from Everly, man. He, he was a part of McDavid's MVP season. He was a part of the Oilers making, finally making the playoffs. And, uh, yeah, man, Jordan Everly, thank you so much for everything that you've been through and all you've done for the Oilers. Well, fuck. For all that you've done for this, this organization, even though you've, you haven't had that much success... That is not your fault. That is, you know, we, we all know whose fault it actually was in Edmonton. And, uh, yeah, man. Thanks to Jordan Everly for some great years. And, uh, hoping Ryan Strom can have a good career, man. And I think he will. I think he will. Okay, these fucking Islanders right now, they're pissing me off. Okay, give me that. He already took Everly from me. Don't take this fucking W, I swear to God. All right, let's go. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. Back at the point. Someone's there. Cleft bomb, of course. Of course it's stopped. I should have shot it left side. So overall, yes, I'm sad that Everly is no longer an oiler. I'm even more sad that Benoit Pouliot is still an oiler. But um, I don't hate the trade, basically. I don't hate the trade. I think it's a decent trade. And uh, both teams kind of got uh, something good out of it, you know? So good on, good on them both. And yeah, man. It's been G20. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get out of here. Okay, fuck this. Fuck this game!